What's going on my dudes? One Step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 video and today we are ranking all the animalities with the new Chaos Reigns update. We have not seen animalities since the 90s and with the new graphics we have nowadays, dude, some of these animalities are freaking amazing and some I consider a bit lackluster. So let's rank them from best to worst. Let's find out what your favorites are as well. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into these animalities. For my tier list, we got five different tiers all the way peak at the very top. You cannot get better. It is just peak design next to great, decent, okay and then just absolute trash top of my head i don't think we're gonna have any in trash they're all pretty good if not better so let's go ahead and find out first and foremost we have ermax animality where he turns into a giant horde of locusts and basically just eats you a lot the fact that they went we are many you are one and they made him many animals in a way i think is a great design choice i don't think it's quite peak but i think it's i think it's great i think ermac has a great animality and of course the first one on our list is gonna be peak is johnny cage's uh jaws reference animality I love the movie reference. It's very well done. It just feels so cinematic anyways. The design is just flawless. I love that they take you away from the stage in the Mortal Kombat game, put you in the ocean. It's a Jaws reference. It's a great animality overall. Definitely peak. And would you look at that? Now that I'm thinking about it, Reiko's Ram animality. Uh, I think, honestly, I think I hate to put down your Reiko mains, but your animality, Reiko's animality is honestly, compared to the rest of these, it's, uh, it's trash. Out of any animal, any mythical animal, Animals. We have phoenixes, we have pegasuses. They chose what feels like a goat. I know it's a ram, but come on now. And he just runs through you like that. It, yeah, cool, but comparatively, it's trash. I like Smokes. I think his is decent. Smokes turning into a gorilla and then doing the whole King Kong thing with you, just tearing you apart. I think that they could have gone a different direction and made it just that much better. But with what they did, I think it's decent and or mid. Cyrax turning into a wasp, actually pretty good. I, I would put that in decent as well. Because keep in mind, decent means like it's a good animality, not terrible not amazing but just overall a good animality and i think that's where cyrax belongs turning into the wasp i like it not quite peak but it's good now we're gonna put katana up in great and the reason why is because the hummingbird thing is just so cool but the biggest thing the best little detail that they included that you're like wow that is good is when the opponent just splits into like four different pieces they are a fountain of blood and the hummingbird like sips from it and then the winning pose is just is just beautiful katana's is really good now a lot of you guys might put noobs animality in peak i think it's really good i'm gonna put it in great you and your cyborg turning into a crocodile tearing your opponent in half by their legs a great reference to their mk9 fatality i love that i don't think it's quite peak but it's pretty damn good tanya turning into a giraffe i think it's i think it's okay i don't i i want it to be a bit better for some reason but just turning into a giraffe and then like bop bop like it is cool i just wanted more for tanya but i like it same with general shows i know that the bear like and that just aggressiveness and the brutality of the bear fits shall pretty damn well but i just wanted more more from Shao. It's so hard to see these crazy other fatalities like phoenixes, giant krakens, and kaijus. Then you see a bear and you're like, ah, that's cool, but I've seen better. I'm gonna put Baraka's porcupine in the same thing. Again, it's fine. It's good. It's right below decent. I think they could have done a lot better before we got, I would consider it okay. In that same vein though, I want to put Havoc in okay, but I actually like the hyena. I think it fits him very well. So brutal, so gory, so gruesome, so wild, and that is Havoc. I do want more from his animality so for what we got i think decent fits it just fine melina's dude uh, that's great i i love melina's not quite peak cinema or peak design but it's really damn good the whole mantis vibe and like she's got the whole size and the face it just fits really well overall dude ostras i was not expecting ostra to be a goddamn pegasus that is peak not only is it peak because they're a pegasus she breathes rainbow fire on you to demolish you i love that 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 was really cool ostras is pretty damn peak shang Tsung is great i love shang Tsung. he's a snake so what better animality to have than him turning into a giant snake i'm getting pretty like jafar vibes but yeah shang Tsung's animality i i think it's great fits him just very well it's weird that you have like takeda being what feels like a giant crack in you have johnny cage going for the jaws and the water and then you have the water wizard himself becoming a puffer fish now I, I it's okay it's cool it's definitely unique and whenever i see whenever they're down here in the okay i feel like i just wanted more and they could have just done better these things like yeah they're good they're fine greats not much i would change but putting rain down here in the okay for being a puffer fish i feel like fits gears i don't know what i expected but i'm not gonna lie to you i don't think i expected a hippo it's really cool i'm gonna put it in decent it, it's a decent animality they could have done a tad better it definitely could have been worse but i'll put in the decent omni man's is arguably 
one of the best in the entire game. It's peak, man. It's just peak. Not only is it a crazy giant kaiju, but it's the same one from the TV show. Like, what? What an awesome reference. Whoever made that decision needs a freaking raise, dude. That was awesome. I love that. I love that some of them are like <laughs> rams, <laughs> and some are like absolute giant kaijus, pegasus with rainbow fire. Like, the contrast between the top and bottom is just so big, so wild. What more do you expect from Natara? Her being a bat's great. It's kind of too obvious, but it's just like, well, yeah, like, what else would she have been? It's like Shang Tsung being a snake. Like, yeah, that he is a snake as a person, so him being a giant snake just makes sense. Natara's a vampire with wings. Like, being a bat just fits too well to just not be anything else. It's gotta go in the grade. A lot of people were arguing for Sub-Zero to go back to his polar bear. I'm glad they mixed things up. In fact, I'm so glad I would put this in the grade. I love Sub-Zero. I'm kind of glad they mixed things up a little bit and did not and just redo the polar bear and went for a mammoth. Not quite mythical like a pegasus or a kaiju, but an extinct creature that fits freeze ice sub-zero pretty well. I like his a lot. And Sectors is pretty decent. I mean, turning into a rhino, charging you, like nothing crazy, nothing terrible. I, it's good. It's almost like the animal kind of dictates how good these are, right? Like for some reason, rhino, hippo, gorilla, they're all pretty decent and they could have just done better when choosing a, a giraffe or a puffer fish. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. Let's move on. Lee May's panda. Dude, first of all, hilarious. So lazy, but cute, but also brutal all at the same time. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of expecting the Chinese dragon, but I'll take a panda. We'll put it in decent. I would put it pretty high decent. Like it's pretty, uh, it's almost great, but not quite there. So we're going to put it high decent. Not that they're ordered by any means, but still. Kung Lao turning into a tiger. Uh, pretty decent, man. I think they could have done a lot better. They could have done a lot worse. So it's pretty average at best. I like it. I think if you're a Kung Lao man, you're not really disappointed. Just like Natara turning into a bat, what more do you expect from Scorpion turning into a literal giant scorpion? Like, yeah, it would just be weird for him to turn into anything else. You're like, what, what do you mean? It's scorpion. Like, he's gotta be a scorpion. And sure enough, they, they put him into a scorpion. And I think that's great. A lot of you might argue that's peak. I think it's really good, really great. But come on, a, a rainbow fire breathing Pegasus and a giant kaiju? Like, a giant scorpion's great. And it belongs there. Can she turning into a essential pack of wolves? And it's only two of them, like him and Sento as wolves themselves. Rounding you up and then attacking you like wolves would, that's pretty great. Like, they did a really damn good job on Kenshi's. Thinking, how can we turn him and Sento into an animality of the two? And damn, they they did it. It's great. Takeda's honestly probably one of the best. His is absolute peak. Absolute peak, dude. His is so freaking good. Not only is it a giant octopus, I say Kraken because it's just too big to be a normal octopus. So I'm going to say Kraken. At first, I thought it was Cthulhu, but we'll say Kraken for this sake. Not only is it so good, but that winning pose with the tentacles, bro, what? He tears you apart, eats you, and then flexes on you? That's peak. Quan Chi's is, is great, man. Quan Chi's is just, mwah. Why turn into an animal when you can turn into a skeleton of an extinct animal and then still attempt to eat your opponent? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I like Sindel's. I'm gonna put hers at decent. I like it. I didn't really expect the giant spider thing. I think it could have just been better, but it definitely could have been worse. So I'll put it in decent. Guys, listen, I know everyone's making jokes. Oh, animality. Well, Reptile has a plantality because he's a Venus flytrap. Dude, that's great. Because he's already half animal, half reptile. Like his fatalities are kind of already animalities because he turns into the reptile form to do the fatality. Same with his fatal blow. So let's shake things up a little. Let's make him a giant man-eating Venus flytrap. I dig that. That is so unique. Talk trash all you want, man, but that is great. As a rated main, I have to tell you that his animality is, is really good. I, I think it's decent. Obviously, the electric eel just fits it so well. I don't know. I just wanted more from Raiden's. I know it's a callback. I get it. It is pretty damn good, but we're going to keep it at decent. Holy shit. Homelanders is almost peak. It's really, it's really damn good. I'm going to put it at high grade because him turning into a Griffin, not only a Griffin, but an Americanized Griffin and still using his laser eyes in Griffin form. Of course he would. That cocky mother heifer relies on those laser eyes no matter what form he's in. Dude, that, that is so good. Okay. Liu Kang gave himself one of the best animalities in the game. It is, it is, it is borderline top one. It is borderline perfect. Because what is a phoenix? First of all, it's fire. Liu Kang's fire. Second of all, phoenixes are reborn from their ashes. A new beginning. What is Mortal Kombat 1 but the new era? A new beginning. The symbolism is awesome. And then that winning pose? Holy shit, that is peak, dude. And I'm sorry, man. We gotta do it again. We gotta do top six right here. Top six peak uh, animalities. Peacemaker turning into an eagle. Expected. Still wearing the helmet. Hilarious. Doing a friendship with Eagly. Wow. And then in eagle form pulls out the guns 
bro that is is so freaking good all right so we got top six adam mallers we got johnny cage omni man ashra takeda Liu king and peacemaker just absolutely phenomenal animalities the way that they went out of their way to be extra to be above and beyond the normal you know bear puffer fish ram in contrast in comparison they are absolute peak compared to the rest of these a lot of them are great many of them are pretty good they're decent some are okay and then reiko by himself i didn't mean to do this reiko is like the only one that's absolute trash i mean it is though like he just just oh oh look i'm a ram like dude honestly i'm i'm tempted to put uh rain down here puffer fish like come on it's 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 okay i think ram is worse i would rather be a puffer fish than a freaking ram sorry reiko you you're all alone down there fam it's so bad i'm sorry reiko but it is trash it is trash not my fault oh man this is great i i love all the animalities in mortal kombat one well most of them i guess and it's a great new addition for finishers in the new era with that being said though my dudes let me know your thoughts down below what is your mains animality and where did it lie on this tier list do you agree or disagree sorry reiko mains if you want more content like this make sure to subscribe here for more because we have new videos monday and friday and we stream twice a week turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more